Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a Distress Ink combo that I'm working with today and I'm highlighting Crackling Campfire. I'm pairing this up with Picked Raspberry, Wilted Violet, and Mustard Seed for my combination to create a bright sunburst of color. I'll be working with Oxide Inks and I'll be working in this combination going from my Mustard Seed first. I'm also using the Sunburst Dye from Simon Says Stamp for the main focus of the card. To help me with my ink blending, I'm using the A7 Rectangle Masks, and this will give me a slick surface to start my ink blending off the edges. I'm starting with Mustard Seed at the top, and I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Blending Brushes. This is the large size, and also the pet tool which holds my ink pad in place. And once I have some mustard seed down, I can start adding crackling campfire, and I'm blending that right up to the mustard seed. Next, I'm adding some picked raspberry. This is a great transition color between the crackling campfire and wilted violet. When I have these colors down, I can go back in and kind of fill in that little ridge of blending and get a really nice transition. And finally, I can add in Wilted Violet to finish out the combination of colors. I've ink blended a second panel of colors, and one will be flipped upside down, so I get a little bit of contrast of colors. And the sun rays dye I'll set where the mustard seed is at the base of the sun. Next, I'm using my trimmer to cut a clean edge at the base of the sun. And when you're done, you can peel these apart and you have two pieces that you can use, either the positive or the negative of the die cut. I wanna add a little sparkle to my card, so I'm using some Perfect Pearls that I've mixed up in one of the needle bottles. And now I can just unscrew the lid and put some into a bowl. I like to keep my mixture in these little bottles so it's handy for when I wanna use it to add some splatters and sprinkles to my cards. And now I'm ready to do some assembly. So I have a top folding A2 card from Simon Says Stamp and my Simon Says Stamp dot runner adhesive. I'm just running this around the outside and I like to run a few strips in the center. So I wanna make sure that I put the yellow at the fold at the top of the card. And once I have that aligned, I can press it down in place. Next, I've cut up some foam tape and added it to the back of my Sunrays die. And I'm just removing a few pieces and I will align this at the top of the card and just gently press down until I can lay the entire piece down. And when I'm happy with that alignment, I can remove the rest of the foam tape backing and press these down in place. For part of my greeting, I've trimmed up Hello Sunshine from the reverse Get Well sentiment strips from Simon's Stamp. I've put a little piece of foam tape on the back side and I'm just aligning it to where it sits a little bit on top of the sun. I'm also using the CZ Hello die and I've cut this from Simon's Stamp holographic paper and I've used the pink and purple and I've backed this with a few sheets of die cut white cardstock and I'm using my Simon's Stamp glue in some dots so that I can add it to the back. I have added dots all over the hello. I'm not quite sure where it'll hit on the Sunrays die, but I know that I'll have plenty to work with and I can align this center right onto the card. And to finish this card off, I've also used some Pink Fresh Studio Glacier Jewels where I mixed up the sizes and placed them randomly on the front of the card. I hope you've enjoyed this inspiration using Crackling Campfire for your base color and blending it off into some yellows and purples. Be sure to check out our blog. I have a list of other Distress Ink color combos. And as always, thanks so much for watching.